it too. Because he also he also gave me a video. Um they are you're going to hear headlines about uh Trump's lawyer um speaking about uh how presidents can order seen, uh, SEAL Team 6 to assassinate rivals. Okay. Um, and I, I know probably uh, Hutch remembers this a long time ago when we were talking to President Trump in an interview. What happens is they are asked questions. And when you give an answer, that becomes a story. Almost like the question was never asked. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Yep. The answer, it, the answer is almost like um, the person is uh, uh, offering that answer to you without even a question being asked. Okay, so when y'all see that that uh, that the Trump lawyer um, said the president can order SEAL Team Six to assassinate, let me play. I want you to listen to how it all so went down. So, in your view, could a president? sell pardons or sell military secrets. Those are official acts, right? It's an official act to grant a pardon. It's an official act to communicate with a foreign government. And such a president would not be subject to criminal prosecution. Uh, the sale of pardons example is an excellent example because there were allegations about a sale of a pardon, essentially, when it came to President Clinton's uh, pardon of Mark Rich and the U.S. DOJ carefully considered. And for the very reasons we've emphasized in our brief, decided not to prosecute President Clinton with that because it raised concerns about whether or not a president can be prosecuted for his official acts. There's actually an op-ed in the National Review from our, Andrew But, but your position is that he can't be prosecuted for that unless yeah. he's impeached. Yeah. And that was, as long as it's an official act. I mean, in certain cases, purely private conduct under Clinton against Jones, he'd be subject to prosecution for that as long as he's not in office. Could, yeah, but as long as it's an official act. Could a president order SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival? That's an official act in order to seal Team Six. He, he would have to be, and would speedily be, you know, uh, uh, impeached and convicted before the criminal what prosecution. If what if he weren't? There would be no criminal prosecution, no criminal liability for that. Chief Justice's opinion in Marbury against Madison and. Uh, 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 and our constitutional tradition and the plain language of the impeachment judgment clause all clearly presuppose that what the founders were concerned about was not. I asked you a yes or yes or no question. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. And so, so, so your answer is, is no. Is, my answer is qualified, yes. Is there's correct. a political process that would have to occur under our, the structure of our Constitution, which would require impeachment and conviction by the Senate. In these exceptional cases, as the OLC memo itself points out from the Department of Justice, you'd expect a speedy impeachment and conviction. But what the founders were much more worried about than using criminal prosecution to discipline presidents was what uh, James Madison calls in Federalist Number 47, the, the, you know, the, the newfangled and artificial treasons. They were much more concerned about the abuse of the criminal process for political purposes Purposes to disable the presidency from factions and political opponents. And of course, that's exactly yep. what we see in this case. I've, I've asked you a, a series of hypotheticals about criminal actions that could be taken by a president and could be considered official acts. And yep. I've asked you, would such a president be subject to criminal prosecution? He told you already. If he's not he's answered. Requirement. And your answer, your yes or no answer is no. I, I <laughs> There is a, I mean, he said yes or no, right? Exactly. And, 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 but, uh, whoever slipped that question to her for the purpose of getting an answer like that so that they can put it out in the media, well, you can assassinate this. Is such nice. It almost makes him look like, but all it makes Trump's lawyer look like, you know, he's speaking for. President Trump, in a way, but he was answering the question is what I'm trying to get to. He was yeah, answering James Madison. I mean, well, and, and his lawyer did a nice job breaking it down. And just so, so Wayne said, you're going to see all these things about SEAL Team 6 and assassination. The article is going to be crap. The, the, the simple, the layman's explanation is the Constitution. The president is exempt from any prosecution of any official act he does to prevent people from being able to chase after the president and sue him and, and the whole country going after him legally. 
the first step would have to be that there would be impeachment against him. Once the impeachment happened, then all these institutions could go after him. That's if he how he's convicted it in the Senate. If he's convicted of impeachment, that 